In this video, we'll go through and show you the uh, setup of the SEC 3100 transmitter or SEC 3120 transmitter uh, relay functions. So we just select the detector that we want to go to and then press on the icon. And from this screen, um, we can set the alarm set points. And you can configure those to be anything um, other than zero. And once you select those, you would then commit the changes to the uh, SEC 3100 or 3120. We also have uh, selecting um, active alarm modes. So basically, once the uh, low alarm relay set point, which was set for 20, goes above that threshold, it would actually enable the relay or the alarm condition uh, at the 3500. So you can also set it for below if you want to, if you want it on the dropping edge, but in 99% of the cases, it's going to be above. You'll see that the fault is below because that's an actually uh, pre-programmed at the factory to be a normally energized fail-safe relay contact. So we can also change uh, the relay polarity settings. What this basically is, is that we can uh, change it from a normally energized to a normally de-energized uh, relay coil. And how you would do that is you would just select yes or no. Um, and we can also change the latching capabilities of the alarms inside the transmitter from the HMI panel. Um, right now they're all set for normal, which means that they're non-latching, but if you wanted to change it to latching, you would just change it to latching and then update the transmitter. And we also have the capability of changing the alarm uh, on delay and off delay times. Um, so here's the on delay, they're all set for zero. And again, it's probably a 99% chance in all installations that you'd set them from zero because you really don't want to delay the time that the transmitter sends back an alarm condition. You're looking for hazardous and gas con hazardous and toxic and combustible gas concentration, so you don't really want to put in those delays. But the main feature of this is that if you're actually using the relay contact inside the transmitter to actuate a fan, you could put in an off delay so that you're not um, turning the fan on and off if the gas is present uh, very often there. So we just go back to alarm levels and, and that's pretty much that menu structure for setting up the relays inside the 3100 or the 3120 transmitters.